I'm S.G. Wilson. I'm not the S.G. Wilson of this earth, but of an alternate kind of post-apocalyptic earth. Um, because my book, uh, written by the S.G. of this earth, is uh, Me Versus the Multiverse, Pleased to Meet Me. It's about a boy who goes to, uh, uh, on an adventure through the multiverse. So um, that's why the S.G. Wilson of this earth, you know, asked me to, to do this. Um, you asked about my website. Uh, I believe the, the S.G. Wilson, his website is uh, sgwilson.net. So, and yeah, is there any particular format for um, talking about what, you know, what anyone wants to know? Uh, no, most people are doing just whatever presentation. Well, I mean, some people are looser, obviously, and then some people more formal, but it's just up to you, however you sure. like to present your, your book. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, like I'm good friends with the S.G. Wilson of this earth, as I say. So anyway, the book, uh, so I'm pretty well-versed in it. The book it out, came out in August. It has a sequel that I don't have the, um, uh, I can't remember what you call it on this earth, the uh, advanced reader copy. But this is the cover for it. It's kind of a bad printout because we can't get very good color printers on this post-apocalyptic world that I'm in. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's about a boy named uh, Mead Macon who um, isn't um, very popular and has a lot of, uh, you know, issues with fitting in and finding himself. So he ends up finding himself in big time by going to this convention for his duplicates from parallel earths. You know, they're all of his doubles from all these multiple earths out there in the, uh, the multiverse. He um, uh, goes there, but he come to find he's actually not very popular there either at this convention. So um, for a while that makes him feel even worse about himself that he's kind of the least popular person of all of these duplicates. But then he discovers that one of his duplicates is kind of an evil genius, you know, which always usually happens in Tales of the Multiverse. There's always some evil genius version of yourself out there. And um, he realizes he has to stop him. So he assembles the other kinds of outcasts of this uh, group of duplicates to go try to stop him, you know, and they take a romp through a lot of different Earths and um, have various adventures. And the adventures continue, you know, in the next book, um, which is called Enough About Me. And the first one is pleased to meet me. The next one is enough about me. And um, it'll be out in, in August. So, um, yeah. And um, I, um, you know, I could kind of go through a few of the, the characters. I, the, um, the other SG of this earth has created a uh, kind of like a travel guide, which if anybody wants it, they can feel free to um, direct mail at uh S.G. Wilson, all one word, underscore Earth One, like on Twitter, you know, if you want to direct mail me or just go to my website, sgwilson.net, you can um, uh, contact me and, and I can, I'll give you, I'll send you a copy of this as well as um, a postcard, you know. Um, and uh, anyway, um, so, you know, there's, um, for instance, one of the me's is uh, Cowboy Me. He, um, he's kind of from an earth where, you know, they haven't really gotten past the, the old West. Um, there's, uh, there's, act, there's, uh, uh, you know, um, oh yeah, Disco Me is kind of from an earth where they haven't really gotten out of the seventies yet. Um, and like Twitter is a fashion label um, and, uh, there's another me called troll me. Who's kind of one of the not so good me's who's a bit of a bully who the main character has to deal with. He comes from an earth where, um, for instance, one of the differences is, uh, the, uh, dogs playing poker is considered like a masterpiece of the Renaissance. So, you know, th these are little differences that kind of come up in all the different earths, um, across the multiverse. Uh, there's steampunk me who comes from an actual steampunk world. Um, this is a, uh, hard to see, but this is a, like a, a flying blimp minivan, you know, and, um, one of my favorites actually is fun to, to, uh, write was, uh, juvenile hall me, who's sort of a tough guy from where an earth where they're not quite out of the fifties yet, you know, um, 
And for instance, a test, this is what a Tesla looks like on their earth. So, so uh, and then, you know, I mentioned that a kind of evil mastermind me, um, that is a meticulous me. He's from an earth where, um, it's kind of an interesting earth where they spend a little bit of time in the book. It's one where they, um, um, the, the English wound up winning the uh, American Revolution. The, the America lost, the British won, and so we never really stopped being run by the, the, the British. And so there's things like the Statue of Royalty, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, oh yeah, and for, for no particular reason that, that you know, they uh, still kind of dress like they're in like Hamilton, you know, they haven't really gotten out of that fashion. So, um, and um, anyway, so yeah, um, uh, that's, that's the kind of the gist of the book. Um, I, oh yeah, I mean, how much time do we have? Cause I did want to talk about one other quick thing. Sure, you've got about another five minutes. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just mention now, just in case I don't get around to it later. I've been doing a, uh, me and a bunch of like seven other science fiction middle grade writers have done a, uh, this is another bad printout because I can't get a good color copier on this earth. Um, <laughs> it's sort of a science fiction middle grade book giveaway. So if you just check it out on Twitter, um, uh, once again, my, my um, Twitter uh, hash thing, you know, username is sgwilson underscore earth one. You'll find me um, <laughs> and you can, you can enter. It's, um, you know, you can enter this and, and have a chance to win one of these books. So, and they're all really great books from a variety. There's some time travel and um, there's another book with the verses in the title, just like mine. And uh, by a lot of great authors. Um, so anyway, you know, it's something to consider. Do you so, have um, I mean, do, do the different, do the different SG Wilsons have different uh, like earth uh, Twitter handles? Or is it oh, just one? Just one, it kind of makes things easier. So we don't really have Twitter on my earth, but you can reach you know, well, except as a fashion, of this earth on except with that, as a fashion that thing, right? Like you mentioned earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? I said, except as a fashion label, as you mentioned earlier, you said your Twitter on that earth was a fashion label. I'm oh, right. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I forgot just, about that. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for paying attention. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On that, just, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, like I say, um, <laughs> I thought that this guide would kind of help to flesh out, you know, the, the, the different worlds a little bit. Um, and you can see it on my website too. So, yeah. Very cool. um, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah. I, the book has a lot of cool illustrations, by the way, I can't take credit for them at all. It's Alexi Bitskoff is a great awesome illustrator. Illustrations, by the way. Those yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he's done a lot of great, um, he's done other books, uh, middle grade books out there and a lot of other great stuff, picture books too. But he, um, you know, he's got, the book has illustrations throughout, um, you know, like like here, little things here and there, but it really- Nice. Those are spots, spot illustrations. It was very exciting to, yeah, spot illustrations. So it's not a, um, not a graphic, novel or anything by any means but the spot illustrations is really fun and well i'm sorry what did you want me to talk about i just it's, it's a random house book it's been doing very well oh right sure yeah uh, you know it's me versus the multiverse pleased to meet me it's from random house <laughs> it came out in august random house children's books um and uh yeah i was lucky enough to get a great editor um and um who was your editor diane landoff and oh, um i uh and Alexi Bitskoff is an illustrator, you know? Right. So um, they're the great team over there and they did a really fun design. I love the book because it really, I mean, and sometimes when I um, put it together, um, maybe a, like alongside other books, you know, sometimes it really kind of, the orange really pops out. You can't tell on this horrible print off, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, man. I never really thought I liked perp, uh, orange so much until this came out, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, but um, congratulations! I will really. I'm just so thrilled to have you, man. Um, and I'll send oh, you the recording as soon as it's ready. <laughs>